We started off with doing experiential events without even intending to. We put in these special details because we felt that that's the kind of event that we would like. These breakaway spaces, these cozy corners where you could catch up with friends. We're taking control of every aspect from the production to some interaction with the venue to creating the space and how it's going to feel, how it's going to look, the artists, who's going to perform. Human experience is really important. We really want people to just have the best experience possible. Our objective was always to bring art to people in unconventional spaces. People just want to be part of the art. They want to go to art exhibitions that they can actually like get inside of the art. You know, it makes you feel more part of what's going on as opposed to just a spectator on the outside observing what's happening. You then become part of it. I love being able to just like go and be and also facilitate a space where people can just forget about everything and just enjoy the present moment but on the counterbalance side I think it's really crucial it's really important to hold space for people to be able to socialize as well and forge new connections it's giving someone confidence to be themselves within a space as well um, and an almost free from judgment uh, environment and also when you can be yourself within a space you also can make authentic connections with people because you are who you are and they are who they are they're not trying to be someone else People have made really close-knit bonds that have gone on past that event, which is really a testament to the kind of safe space that we like to create. People are always coming up to us saying, I've met, you know, a new group of friends or, you know, I met someone that I fell in love with and now I live with them. And we then realised, oh, we're really actually affecting people on, on quite an emotional level. So we should really try and incorporate that into the whole of what we're doing. We really want to make that connection with people on a very emotional level. A lot of our clients actually came from those early events. They came to our art parties that we started off doing. They saw what we could do. They saw the environment that we created and they asked us to come do that on a corporate level. Then I realized that this is definitely a viable future for both of us. We're trying to bring an element of uh, community and sustainability to everything that we do and being able to bring that kind of touch to uh, corporate clients is really impactful for us because that's how we're sort of affecting change. And then also creating an emotional connection between the staff themselves because we are holding space for them and we're creating an atmosphere for them, which is brilliant. For our patrons, when they come, we try and encourage them to dress up. And this is more for people to feel comfortable, that they can be creative. We're definitely trying to bring you know, a party atmosphere and also an atmosphere where people feel safe. When I came back from traveling and I met Sinead, really opened my mind to what a creative could be. Like, you just need to have confidence in yourself. Burning Man, for example, creativity is like such a key factor, but no one has ever asked, are you a creative or can you do something? It's, you're so highly encouraged. They created a city in the middle of nowhere. It just shows you that anything really is possible when people feel like they're part of something and their thoughts and their creativity matters. Everyone then becomes the artist because you're like this mass artist bringing like this massive project together. Not one person could do it on their own. Everyone has to do it together to make it you know, come to life. When you're kind of walking around and you're taking it all in, you do realize that you've created a piece of art that people can walk through and experience and feel something. New York attracts uh, people from all walks of life and all levels of creativity. You really just get like the maddest group of people every corner you turn. They're just like this air of like excitement and vibrancy. And I think, you know, just even going into House ES and seeing what the guys put on and seeing what they do every day, there is just this whole ethos of let's try it. It's really nice to be around people who've got the same kind of ethos that you do. I'm so impressed with how they set club rules and they enforce them in the space and for them to feel safe to express themselves whatever way they want, wearing as much or as little as they like and that they feel that they're you know, being supported and that they're being protected by this community. Our subcontractors in our community are so important because we are growing, constantly growing and evolving as a company. Um, I think we realised that on from like the first day, without these people, H&G wouldn't exist. Dee's just the most wonderful person I've ever met. I think she's just so kind and warm and supportive and she just has the most amazing um, work ethic. Yeah, no, Sinead is my inspiration 100%. She is an absolute powerhouse. She's absolutely no fear. 
Uh, she'll try everything. And I think that is really, really inspiring. Uh, she's my best friend, really. I feel very loved and supported and I'm very grateful to be on this journey with her.